People shield themselves from negativity in many ways. Some by meditation, some by exercise, and some like Keanu Reeves, living a glorious celebrity life as an actor. Reeves grew up with three different stepfathers after his father walked out of his life at the age of three. Shortly after, his father was sentenced to 10 years in prison but only served two due to having possession of drugs. Losing a relationship like that can cause a lot of negativity and stress in one's life. This caused him to move town to town as his life began to go down and down. Childhood struggles like this may be the reason he was able to tell a story on The Jimmy Kimmel Show. He was asked if he'd ever seen a ghost, and he shares an experience when he was only a child. Jacket comes waving through the doorway, like just an empty, there's no head, there's no body, there's no... His sister was in her room sleeping while her nanny was looking over them. While relaxing in bed is when he encounters a ghost-like figure wearing a jacket without a head, arms, or legs. There, and then it disappears. And I was a little kid, and I thought, okay, well, that's interesting. And then... Wow, what kind of drugs are they giving this six-year-old? I mean, the only ghost I know of is Casper, and we can hardly see him. Even though this might sound like a load of baloney, he claims his nanny also saw this figure. Without exchanging words, he knew the ghost was real by the look on his nanny's face. That was real. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, cool. <laughs> I In his teen years came many different high schools as came different towns. His teachers gave him a hard time mm. about getting to class on time. But with a life like his, that is the last thing on his mind. Even if he made it to class, his books and brain did not, missing even more class going home to get them. And somehow, he still managed to pass. To cope with these difficulties, he did things such as play ice hockey and chess, but they did not keep him out of trouble. He would face conflicts with staff and stand on the opposite side of view when speaking to the principal. At the age of 16, he was expelled from school and ended up without a diploma on his way to Hollywood. He learned how to fight bad vibes at a young age and had many yet to come. Maybe that is why he is known as one of the most generous stars found in the film industry. Debuting the film Youngblood in his early 20s, he grew to be a star and took part in many well-known movies. As he grew as a star, so did his bank account. Enough to pay a woman's debt of $20,000 before losing her home. He showed similar gratitude to the Matrix costume crew, donating more than $50 million to their staff even gave up 90% of his salary to allow other stars to be hired. Without wanting any recognition besides the feeling of being a great person, Reeves demonstrated what being an amazing person is. Everybody don't want to stop you now. Come on, piano. Being this person shields him from negativity as he has faced many troubling situations throughout his career. Keanu met a woman at an alternative rock promotion party where they fell for each other. A year later on Christmas Eve, they delivered a stillborn baby that left their relationship to crumble into pieces. Keanu not only loses his daughter, but his child's mother two years in the future. Jennifer Symes swerved into a row of parked vehicles on the side of the road, leaving a party hosted by Marilyn Manson in Hollywood. She was killed instantly. Though two years after his breakup, he still found it difficult to cope with. River Phoenix, one of Keanu's best friends, died at the age of 23 from a speedball overdose of morphine and cocaine. As if that was not enough as a primetime star, get this, while dealing with these deaths, he was the primary caregiver during his sister's recovery from leukemia. How does he do it? Well, he found a way to express himself in a film where he played a character who has lost an important member of his family. This role helped shield him from the constant everyday battle with negativity and helped his career to continue growing. It has been known for opposites to attract, and when there was much pain, there was much gratitude. He continued to blossom and spread positivity throughout his career without letting his tragedy stop him from success. There are countless times where being generous may have been a way to counteract the badness life. He spent his birthday down at the bakery where he arrived with a candle and something to eat. He sat in the very front of the shop and offered people that were walking in free coffee. Or how about the time the paparazzi found him talking to a homeless man and sharing each other's life story? It may not have been a gesture most of us would expect, like, you know, some free food or some cold hard cash. Experiences like these are what brings people together and can celebrate life, which is a lot of times overlooked by the shade of money and materialistic gestures. 
Spreading good vibes may have had him feel good on the inside, but he was really combating his daily struggles of the past. Keanu later on found himself almost handing a lump sum of money to a photographer that pulled off a flop better than LeBron James and James Harden. Reeves was driving his 1994 Porsche when he tried to parallel park next to a curb and grazed the man taking pictures standing in the street. Drawing the foul, the man fell to the ground and paramedics rushed to the scene faster than you can say the word paparazzi. Ambulances proceeded to carry out their duties and took him to the local hospital for further treatment. A year later, the same man returns, further escalating the repercussions of the situation with a $700,000 lawsuit due to claiming serious injury. Though the situation caused a greater strain on his public image, the jury found Reeves not responsible for any damages or costs after presenting a video of the photographer climbing a fence with his injured hand after claiming he was unable to do so. Ha, that shows him. He probably stood in the way on purpose. The good old sabotage. The actor's Canadian accent became a target that critics poked at as he delivered an English accent. He admits that his English acting is not the greatest. It was soon played out by his so-called deadpan performances throughout The Matrix Legacy. Lacking expression, no matter what is happening in the movie, gives critics more to work with when picking apart such a glittering career. Let me guess, there is more. Oh yes, he was blacklisted by Fox for 14 years. If that's not a smack in the face, I don't know what is. As years go on and Reeves becomes older, he slowed down being involved with huge hits. He wanted to work on more independent films, wanting to grow into writing and producing a film as well as acting in it. These days, he's found a new wife and remarried after spending many years alone and kept this side of his life very private. I'm guessing due to all the downfalls he's overcome, he wants to avoid any type of backlash. They bonded over the actor's self-pity poetry and Alexandra, his wife, drew pictures to match his poems, later publishing it as a book called Ode to Happiness. Despite all the grief in his life, he and his wife continued to write books spiraling from their first book success, leading them to start a publishing company aimed at publishing unusual collaborations. Keeping private was the game at first, but now they have opened up as a couple and have been seen at various events. Notable events, such as Saint Laurent's Men's Spring Summer Show in Malibu, something they never used to do. Even though Reeves claims he will never have a family again after his awful past, his current relationship leaves us to believe living a happy life is in the future. From critics mocking his performances to losing three close loved ones during his career, Keanu Reeves has lived a tragic life.